Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause and this video I want to do a formal walk around of our new Lexus GX460. So we got this a couple weeks ago, it's a 2017, it has 39,000 miles on it. I first made the video with the two good newses. So this, this is my wife's car, she initially was going to get a Bronco but it kept get, getting delay after delay. So we ended up with this. Did some research on it. There's a lot of aftermarket uh, things that, that you can do to it. But again, it's a great buy for us. This is actually the luxury package. It has all the bells and whistles. And the coolest part that I, mean, I kind of dig too, but she was excited about is that it has the two captain chairs in the back. But as far as all the cool off-road things it has, so it has four low, four high. It has downhill assist control for when you're going up and down steep hills. You can control the, uh, the speed from here. It has like a low, medium, high, and has settings in between. It has the air suspension for the rear, which that will be deleted. Um, it's coming off when I put the lift on. I'll talk about the lift in a second. I have it in the back. And then it has a comfort control, sport control. It has a center locking diff for when you're on four low, you're on the, on the trail, and for whatever reason you're getting stuck or the wheels are slipping, lock the center diff and gives power to all the wheels equally so that they're turning slow so you could get out of whatever you're into but this is it so the guy that owned this before was one previous owner he added a couple things he added the visors on the windows which we're probably just going to keep uh, he added a remote start and he added this roof rail system so the first thing that we're going to do as far as mods go actually this will be the second mod but i'll show you the first mod in a second so the second mod that we're going to do is we're going to put this toy tech three inch boss aluminum lift on here and called toy tech told them what we had what the plan was for it and yeah we went in this direction so we have the heavy duty coilovers for the uh, front. It's supposed to be rated for 700 pounds because I told them we're getting a front bumper, we're getting a winch. So that's that. Also for the front, we've got some SPC control arms. Yeah, these are hefty. Should do the trick. This is supposed to be, I forget what it's called, but it's supposed to uh, take the place of the airbags. So the airbags come out, the rear airbags, and these go in. So it's uh, like a conversion kit. These are the rear coils uh, rated for an additional, I wanna say 300 pounds. So that's gonna be the bumper with the rear tire in the back. And then these are the, uh, the actual springs for the rear. This whole system cost, I want to say, close to 2800 maybe a little bit more. can't remember. It's been a couple weeks. So two new mods, right, that I've already, not really mods. One's, one's a, a, something that I added, but one thing I did buy for this vehicle is, and I have it for my commander, is the Gulu, uh, the battery jumper. So that'll be in here. I'll do a should do a review on that one day i'm still waiting to use it so the first mod that we actually did to this car is a little first little addition my wife actually put it in this morning quick and easy it's plastic and it's just a little organizer for the glove compartment so yeah it's this piece with two frames it sits on a ledge right here so it's made specifically for the gx um, I found it on Amazon. You can find it for other specific cars, but except for the Commander, of course. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Nice little add-on that she can kind of organize stuff. 
got the the WeatherTech type Lexus um, mats. But yeah, that's the GX. It'll be lifted soon. We'll get new rims and tires. And then the next project for it, which will probably be a couple months, save up a little bit of money, will be a front bumper. Now, here's a question for you guys. For those of you who have a GX or for those of you who kind of like this stuff and like look into this stuff, what kind of front bumper should I get for it? She's really looking into the a covert type bumper where we cut here and it kind of sticks on. It looks more of, of a factory look. Um, I'm kind of digging uh, the bumper with a little bull bar, kind of like what I have with the Commander. So what do you think? What, what would you do with the front if it was yours? Uh, what kind of bumper would you put on it? And leave them in the comments because I found a couple, but you guys might, might know of more companies that, that make them for the GX. Same thing for the rear. The rear would be the last thing that I put on. And I'll be looking into that probably the beginning of next year or maybe later on this year, late this year. So yeah, let me know what kind of rear bumper you would put on this GX. Again, it's gonna have a three inch lift. Probably get some 17 inch rims, uh, two 75s. Uh, by 77, uh, 17s is what we're looking at. Maybe go a little bit higher to 285s. We'll see. Once I get the lift and rims, I definitely want to start looking into replacing the bumper uh, so that we can get some ground clearance right here. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a nice looking uh, GX. She's happy with it. <laughs> she says that it's going to be a better off-roader than the Commander, which probably i mean it is it is a prado right they use this stuff it's meant to go off road uh once it's built up for it and of course the og is still running strong only thing i'm not liking is i'm getting some condensation here and the problem is in order to take this out to fix it i have to take this bad boy off so i am trying to figure out a way to maybe streamline it where I don't have to take this off and I can just reach and maybe take it out or put a blow dryer in here. Um, I know I can take this bulb out, maybe shove a blow dryer in there, get all this evaporated out and then try to seal it up as best I can. But in order to do it correctly, I have to take it out, see where the leak is coming from. Uh, but you know, so what happens when you have a 12 year old Jeep? Things start going wrong, right? 12 year old anything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, let me know what you would do with the front. What kind of front bumper? Leave them in the comments, leave the company uh, so I could start looking into it because I've only found a couple. Maybe you guys can find more. Same thing with the rear bumper. The rear bumper is gonna come later on in the year, maybe early next year. But again, um, let me know so I can start doing my research, all right? So again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.